Experts say it is the deadliest tornado in seven years. 25 people killed in Music City and many others remain missing tonight. It is so heartbreaking to look at these pictures of devastation. Right now, the state of Tennessee under a state of emergency as rescuers continue going door to door. They are still searching for survivors there. CBS 46's Brittany Edney is there as well. She's in the middle of the cleanup, making the trip to bring us the very latest from this scene. Brittany, tell us about it. This is all that's left of the Nixon family home. They built it back in 1994. That blue wall up there, that's where the bonus room used to be. The roof, second part of the floor, and also the back of the home, that's all gone. But it's how this family got to safety that's truly remarkable. I answered the phone. Uh, she told us what was coming. A neighbor's quick call gave Johnny Nixon's family 30 seconds to get down into the basement. My wife and son and the dogs were under there and I was kind of back against the wall. First there was silence, then havoc unleashed. The floor, uh, joists and everything just kind of shaking a little bit and dust was falling. That's when the family felt the tornado come down. It's like an old fashioned car wash as you used to have where when you drove through they had the rags that slapped against your car to clean it up. It was almost like that, except the sound was magnified. How quick was it? Less than a minute. But how fast did it feel to you? Well, time kind of stood still for a second or two. But their safety plan has been ready for years. Hopefully that would have made us easier to find and get out. And likely only possible thanks to a neighbor's warning. Yeah, I mean, that and uh, somebody's looking out for us. The Nixons say if it had to happen to anyone, they are glad it happened to them. And here's why because just feet away at their next door neighbor's house, there were a lot of kids here and they didn't have a basement that they could go and hide and bunker down in. I think it really says something about how truly authentic and large their hearts are in this neighborhood. Brittany Edney, CBS 46 News.